Welcome. Today we're going to talk about finding percents with proportions. This is the first of two days of talks on finding percents. The next one will be on finding percents with equations. Okay. So you can solve a percent problem by writing and solving a proportion. Here's what the proportion would look like. You're going to put the percent over 100 and set it equal to the part over the whole. And this makes sense because a percent is a part out of a whole. So the percent over 100 is equal to the part over the whole. Now, there's some clues to help you find the part and the whole in a word problem. So we're going to say get a clue. Is is the clue that you're going to use to find the part, and of is the clue for finding the whole, okay, for the whole amount. So in general, we're going to set up all our problems like this with a fraction bar equals a fraction bar, and we're going to write percent over 100 equals is over of, and then we're going to fill in the missing numbers, okay? So here's a problem for us first example. I'll work through the first example and then let you work through a few on your own. 25% of 124 is x. Okay, so let's begin by setting up the proportion and putting in the clues. Now we always put 100 in this bottom left hand corner and then I'm writing the clues. If you're writing these in pencil you can just write them lightly to the side. Percent goes over 100 and is and of. Then I go back to the original problem and I circle things to make sure I get everything in the correct spot. So I'm going to circle 25% of 124 is x. Now each circle, you can see there's three circles and they go into the three open spots in my proportion. I'm going to put the 25 where? That's right, as the percent, drop that in there. The of is going to be 124 and the is is x. Now to solve for x. Proportions, um, well we learned to solve proportions by cross multiplying. So we would multiply 25 times 124 and then divide by the other number which in this case is 100. So 25 times 124 equals 3100. Dividing by 100 moves the decimal two places to the left, so we get x equals 31. So here's an example for you to try on your own. Check back with me, hit the space bar and solve it, and then check back with me afterwards. All right, we always hang these numbers on the same frame. The frame looks like this. It's a fraction bar equals a fraction bar. And we always put the same clues, percent over 100 equals is over of. And again, I like to circle. So 43 is my percent, 230 is the whole amount, and we're looking for the part n. Okay, so 43 is the percent, 230 is the whole amount, that's what we're taking of, and n is the missing number. So once again, we're going to multiply the two numbers that are diagonal to each other. In this case, 43 times 230 equals 9,890. Dividing by 100 moves the decimal two places to the left, so that's going to be 98.9. Now, here's one that has a different missing part, but I think you could go ahead and solve this on your own. Try it again and check back. I'll even start you off with the frame. Okay, so percent over 100 equals part over whole. Well, in this case we have what percent of 250 is 138. So what? I'm going to choose a variable. Let's put x. The whole is 250 and the part is 138. In this case we would multiply 100 times 138 which will give us 13,800 divided by 250. The answer is 55.2. In our next example, we want to find 80% of 20. 
at first glance, this appears to have only two of the three pieces that we need to hang on our frame. But if you realize that find means what is, now we have our variable. The missing part is the part, and we're given the percent and the whole. So when we set it up, we can think of this as what is 80% of 20. So on our frame, percent over 100, we would say what is 80% of 20. And we would plug that in there. So the is is the missing piece, the percent is 80, and the whole is 20. So 8 times 2 is 16. This would be 1,600 divided by 100. So x is 16. Why don't you um, go ahead and try this one on your own, and we'll check back in a moment. Okay, in this case we have percent over 100, part over whole, 12.5%. The whole is 80, and again, the missing piece is the part. So plugging in the numbers, 12.5. And the whole is 80 and the missing piece. So we're going to have 12.5 times 80. So in this case, we're going to multiply 12.5 times 80, which equals 1,000. And then 1,000 divided by 100 equals 10. Next, 14 is what percent of 15? You do this one, we'll check back. Here's the frame, here's the hints, and the circles. 14 is the part, the missing piece is the percent, and we have the whole. So we're going to say 14 is the part, x is the percent, and 15. So 14 times 100 equals 1,400. Divided by 15 equals 93.3.